Hello and welcome to this new video. It was about time. These are definitely uh, crazy times out there. Of course, the coronavirus dominates the news. The economy is getting into a downturn. We have a stock market crash going on. Um, this is not really surprising. It was expected. Right now we have some kind of bounce and then, you know, the base case is that again it goes down and retests and breaks the lows. And uh, of course we were overdue, this had to happen, uh, this is not very surprising. And as you can see, it's not that, you know, gold went up a lot or something like that. In fact, you know, the indices went down, uh, metals went down, oil went down, even cryptos, you know, didn't really go up much. So there's no safe haven, okay? Because as we discussed many times here, markets are dominated by algorithms, therefore their correlations. Um, therefore, everything tends to move together, okay? And that's the market reality we live in. Uh, looking at Forex, the pound lost over 1,000 pips uh, in a short time period, you know, uh, went to lows from 1985. Some crazy moves there. I was very busy last week uh, scalping uh, because obviously there are also opportunities, especially if you see the market causality. And uh, one thing is for sure. It doesn't matter what kind of market phase we're in, down market, up market, consolidation, the causality always applies. They always go for stops and positions. It's truly leading information. Okay, so I expect some kind of pullback in the markets, but then another move. And of course, the economy will also be affected. We have now lockdowns in several countries. So it's quite, uh, quite a time period right now. Um, but today, I don't really want to discuss all that, to be honest. I want to discuss a specific um, topic. Um, namely, and um, I really thought whether I, I should uh, talk about this or not, but I decided to do it. Because when you look around Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you see all those uh, fake traders and scammers, okay? 90% of people are talking about Forex. They either don't trade at all or they have no clue what they're talking about. And this is completely annoying. And one principle of this channel is to keep things real, to keep things authentic. I will present you the reality as it is, whether you like it or not. I don't really care, okay? Um, love me or hate me, don't kill the messenger. I will show you how Forex really is. I've exposed the market structure and I also try to explain how things are from a trader's perspective. And uh, everything out there basically is very misleading. And I want to make this video in order to really uh, expose all that, okay? Because it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, you know... If you type in Forex into uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, you know, all these accounts come up, these pictures, these people talking about something they don't even understand, okay? And what I did is I made a list which will help you in identifying uh, these fake traders, let's say, okay? So first of all, they tend to have like those high quality videos. They tend to make loads of videos frequently. And the funny thing is they talk about it in general terms, okay? <laughs> they're not focused on demonstrating anything or showing or explaining anything rather they just you know talk about something they pretend to understand which is really a comedy you know it's it's ridiculous when we look at my channel for example it's focused on the content okay the actual market structure and you know of course it also do with the more general videos but they basically only talking about you know hearsay really you know they don't bother to do uh, proper live trading uh, or anything like that that's ridiculous then they tend to show off wealth this is very very uh, gross <laughs> because if you ever came in touch with uh, professional traders you will know that most of these people they are nice and humble people okay they are no show-offs uh, why is that well because in the past they have been humbled by the market yeah they started somewhere they had losses so they their egos are destroyed so they are actually pretty nice people with, you know, controlled egos, okay, and they will rarely, you know, show off or show you watches or cars or houses or anything like that. It's ridiculous. These fake traders, that's basically their main strategy. They show you all this material wealth and they try to sell you a dream. Here okay? they are marketers, they're salesmen. They try to sell a product or to introduce you somewhere or whatever, okay, and they don't really trade themselves and, you know, they don't have any clue, you know, what this market is about. Professional traders, they tend to be rather nerdy, okay? They um, tend to be humble. They don't show off because guess what? Everything they won in the markets, okay, is hard earned. They have taken 
significant risks for that. They've invested a lot of time and energy into that. So they know how to value uh, money as well. They will not, you know, show off any, you know, watches or, or yachts or anything like that. Very rare. The, then we have this group of uh, people who consider themselves crypto traders. They are mostly people who, by luck, you know, made some money by, by buying cryptos uh, some years ago. And now they try to pretend that they're also forex traders, which is very funny, you know, because it's obvious that they have no clue about this market. They, they try to, you know, um, suggest that because they made some money in crypto, often by luck, that they also understand forex and they have a strategy there. And often it's complete BS, okay? And it's very obvious uh, who these people are. Then we have some group of young uh, YouTubers that, who, for example, trade stocks. And look, look, don't get me wrong, it's all good. I like when people do videos and stuff, it's all good. But the funny thing there is, um, different different group of people, but they have only seen like uh, a 10-year bull market. So, you know, they, they saw stocks going up and they thought, okay, you buy stocks and they go up, that's how it is. The funny thing is many of them did never bother to do a proper historical analysis. They never went down even 50 years. And you know, they would have seen that this massive stock market crash is part of the game, okay? And, and we were overdue, we were already above the average seven year uh, bull market. So it's funny that suddenly they see their portfolios crash and they're like, what's going on? How can this be? Yeah, because they never thought this is possible. If they would have made the homework, of, they would have realized, of course it's possible. It happened always on a regular basis historically. That's how the stock market works. It goes up for some years and crashes quickly in a big way. And often in just a few days, the people cannot really react to that. And you know, they just freeze in front of the screen and see everything go. So the, the gains of the last six years were, were just erased by those big moves in a, within a few days, okay? And uh, it's funny that, you know, these people, they're not really scammers, but you know, they, they're not very experienced uh, traders. And often they also invest more time into producing videos than into studying the market, which is kind of uh, funny as well. Um, so you can recognize um, these kind of people by um, also by not really understanding or mentioning even market manipulation. They don't know that market manipulation is a big part of the modern financial markets. But because they didn't bother to actually look into it, they, they don't mention it. They are focused. If they talk about trading, they're focused on some indicators or something like that they want to sell. And, you know, they talk about everything except the trading itself, which is funny. You know, they talk about general principles. They don't really talk about, you know, past trades or how they developed it, all that. Um, yeah. So, anyways, this is quite funny. Always be careful. Um, most of the stuff out there is ridiculous. I mean, if I look at it, I, I have to laugh, you know. It's super ridiculous. People, you know, um, trying to... It's really primitive, you know. They try to sell uh, the dumb, dumb money, a dream they will never achieve. They try to pretend as if trading would be easy and everybody can just do it and you don't have to invest a lot of time and all this is completely incorrect. If you follow me, you will know that I always preach trading, especially for an exchange trading, especially short-term trading. It's a highly, highly complex activity. You will completely lose if you don't invest a few years and loads of hours into studying and preparing and, and improving, okay? So it's not really a very attractive business for the masses, yeah? There's only a very small minority which will be able to, you know, go all the way. And most people are better off doing something else, that's the truth. But these kind of traders, they try to sell you a different uh, reality. They try to make you believe that you just buy the indicator or the signals and, you know, you do a few trades and you make money on a regular basis. Completely wrong. Um, should maybe also do a video in the future which shows that those simply strategies never work over a longer time period. They completely die off. But that's the reality. Yeah? Today, uh, with this global world and the internet, everybody can post stuff and people exploit that, trying to make a buck, you know, by uh, giving a wrong impression about reality. And I try to counter this a bit, okay, with my work. I've shown you the market causality, okay? Especially in this time, there were some very interesting setups and it worked as always, okay? And that's the ultimate proof after all these years. I'm doing this work here. So be careful, okay, stay always, uh, you know, um, do your homework, do not fall for any uh, cheap marketing strategies uh, and for any salesman. And um, understand that, you know, this is complex business, especially today with all the algorithms, okay, so prepare for, you know, what you're gonna do. And stay tuned, soon I will uh, publish here on this channel um, some new stuff I've been working on in the last uh, weeks and months. 
so I'm very excited about that I will make a separate video about this and show you what I developed to help you also so uh, stay tuned about that and understand okay 95% uh, of people trying to trade forex lose okay they do not only not make money they lose okay the vast majority of course everybody of you look seeing this right now thinks oh but I'm the one who can make it control your ego okay otherwise the market will humble you that's what's ha happening it is complex even smart people they fail in this game even people who put in the work they fail in this game because the market manipulation is so efficient as I've shown that you need a true edge you know in order to survive in this game and the market causality is the closest we ever get to anything like the holy grail it's leading information um, still the smart money is one step ahead but you know by understanding it and applying it you can avoid loads of stop runs and position runs and fake moves and sucker moves uh, and that's quite remarkable I think anyway stay safe in those turbulent times okay um, be careful don't fall for all these people trying to you know get you in, into something it happens all the time history tends to repeat itself so be smarter than the rest and uh, trading is amazing FX is amazing I have a passion for it but I try to just make you understand it's not as people show you it is complex it's you know there are mechanical concepts you need to understand goodbye